Welcome to Cocktails. I'm Little Esther and my guest today is Lauren Lapkiss. Hi. <laughs> uh. Okay, so these are real questions from elementary school kids who are in a sex ed class. Wow, that's so early. <laughs> is it? No, maybe it's not. I was in fifth grade. Not when I lost my virginity. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if it only takes one sperm to make a baby, what do you do with the, all the stuff left over? Keep it. Um, in a jar. Around your neck or like on oh, the kitchen Oh, a vial, that would be great. You just throw it up there if you want another one. I feel like they'd make good pets. Oh, so cute. What were those like? Sea monkeys? Yeah. yeah. Just get an aquarium full of sperm. <gasps> what do they eat? Pussy juice. <laughs> <laughs> what is the purpose of pubic hair? It's like just to kind of hide your vagina. <laughs> what were some of your embarrassing adolescent misconceptions about sex? I don't think I uh, knew what a blowjob was. It sounded like, I don't think the word goes with it. What would be a better name for a blowjob? Like a big suck. <laughs> <laughs> like. Can I stop this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't need a name. Let's just, just get rid of it. Blowjobs are too 90s. Like, yeah, let's they're move so on. outdated. Now it's, it's all about on. butts. It is all about butts. <laughs> <laughs> so you're married. Mm -hmm. What kind of tips would you give other married couples to keep married life interesting? Just keep cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys like pooped in the same room? No together? way, I would never do that. Are you serious? I would never do that with anyone. I would do that on a first date. No guy has ever seen me pee or poo. You've never peed on anybody? I peed in their mouth, they had their eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted to let a guy know from across the bar that you were interested, what would you do? I would flash him. Mm, that's the right answer. <laughs> yeah, what would you do? Oh yeah, blinking. They'll definitely come over and ask you if you're okay. What's the sexiest way you think to sit down on a couch? Like if you were a Bond girl, how would you sit on a oh, couch? Oh, should I show you? Oh, you're right. But now I have nowhere to go. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to guess your first sexual partner in 10 seconds. Okay. Frank. No. Rob. No. Ted. No. Rick. No. Jake. No. Josh. No. Dan. No. Luke. No, I really think you might get it though. Will. No. Well, William. No. Bill. Like first ever anything? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think Hillary Clinton's orgasms sound like? Give me that file! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna play two audio clips and I want you to tell me which one is a group of howling monkeys and which one is a couple climaxing at the same time. Okay, great. <laughs> Okay, now, before you think like, oh, that's so obvious, I just want you to listen to the second one. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. fuck, oh, yeah. yeah, oh, here yeah. it comes. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my yeah. God, I want yeah. oh my yeah. God. What advice would you give your teenage self? Don't waste your time liking people who don't like you. I was once dating a guy that didn't like me. Yeah. I've dated a lot of people who don't like me. I, they would never date me. I feel like that's pretty good that you got that far. <laughs> Thank you. I would just lay in bed and be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're all weird and they're all ugly now. I'm trying to work on my role playing. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe you could like give me some pointers or whatever. Yeah, I mean like think of like a person in society that you would like to be and then you get to be them. Like what's something that sounds attractive to you? A French maid. Oh yeah, I'll be the client and you're my maid. Okay. Hello, monsieur. Hi, you didn't clean up any of my pubic hair. Um, I'm so sorry, monsieur. Okay, well get back in there and clean those floors. It's disgusting, I have family coming. Okay. So now let's, let's scratch it. Okay. I can just be myself. Yeah, that's probably better. Yeah. If you could redesign the penis, what would it look like? That's perfect. Yeah, it's a heart-shaped balloon, and the idea is that it's just really fun to look at, and it's pleasant. And then when you're done, you can just pop it or let it go away. My Grammy Rose is here to give us some advice. Oh, I love grandmas. Hey, Grammy. The biggest erogenous zone is the mind. You want to have great sex? Have them fuck your mind first. Like through your ear? Lauren, thank you so much for being my friend and coming on my show. Thanks for having me. This is a condom balloon I give you as a parting gift. Thank you. It's flavored. Blue raspberry. Thanks for watching Cocktails. You can click here for more and please subscribe.